Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. Today is unboxing day. I recently received a package in the mail from a Kickstarter that I backed probably nine months ago, maybe even a year ago, who knows? But I'm excited by this. I've been waiting a long time. It's super exciting. Let's get to it. All right, here's the package. Now, I will tell you, I also backed the maker knife. I do not have my maker knife yet. Rumor is, it'll be coming in the next 30 or so days. So I am excited by that. But this unboxing is not that unboxing. Wow. Okay. There it is. Switch pod. Oh, I heard the music. It's okay. <laughs> Here we go. What do we say? Thank you so much for being one of our Kickstarter backers. All right. So you're probably wondering yourself, what the hell is a switch pod and what would I do with it and why do you care? Well, a switch pod is a new type of camera stand. So if you're familiar with the kind of Gorilla Grip or the Joby that you kind of hold out and you can selfie with it or you can point and make videos with it, this is a new concept in that. Uh, it's actually made out of metal. You can hold it like a kind of gun and run sort of situation or you can use it as a tripod. So it was not terribly expensive on the interwebs and I chose to invest in it and it has finally arrived going to open it. <clears throat> now Peter McKinnon, uh, I think Casey Neistat, and I'll try to hope you people uh, already have these. They've been farting around with them, playing with them. It's kind of how I found out about it, to be honest with you, it was through Peter McKinnon. So, <clears throat> all right, it's a little dented right here. It's okay. Given how it was packed, I don't know how it would have gotten <laughs> dented. Uh, nothing in the box other than the switch pod itself, so. Yeah, okay. Doesn't want to go that way, and doesn't want to go that way. Okay, because it, ah, because <laughs> I'm a freaking idiot, <laughs> and it opens this thing, wow. That is some sexy packaging. Look at that, velvet. That's velvet, friends. A little bit of foam, that's freaking brilliant. Apple, eat your heart out, right? Made by creators for creators. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I got to give him props for the packaging, so thumb up on that. All right. Let's how do we get that out. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh... <laughs> All right. So it looks sexy. All right. So if you just pull from the end, it comes straight out. Uh, so you can see here uh, the packaging. It's just uh, that kind of foam. It looks like it was kind of. CNC or laser cut with this lovely velvet on it. That's awesome. Hmm. It smells like velvet plastic. So, magnetic seal. So, if you need to put it back in a box, that's awesome. So, here it is. All right, so uh, use case number one, like this. Put the camera right here, like that. Use case number two, tripod, right? All right, if we're running and gunning, you want to just put your tripod out, you kind of hold it by one end, and you flip it and it pops open and it locks into place just like that. All right, you can screw your camera in from the bottom. Um, it's all metal. It's a little rubber pad here where it says, ah, made from China, that's okay. Logo, very simple design, very elegant. Um, there's actually, interestingly enough, these holes are threaded. I'm not entirely sure what for, but I can certainly envision maybe microphone or lights attached here for your camera. Uh, and this arm in particular is not threaded. It's elongated. It's, it's larger than the other two, so you could have these together, um, I guess, and put things through or you can screw it all the way through and just leave it like that. Um, but very interesting. You can point and shoot or you can point and shoot very quickly. Um, it's about 
perfect distance from your arm, uh, you know, camera arm length here. So there you go. So I think what I'm going to try and do is find the other camera that we have and attach it and just, you know, see how it feels. So let's, uh, let's see if I can do that. I went out and I grabbed our, what is now quite old, DLSR camera, uh, the one we've been using for quite some time. It's still honestly used to take pictures because it's good enough for what I take pictures for and uh, I don't need 16 megapixels in most cases. Although I will tell you, having used the JD5 uh, to not only take pictures but film video on the go, it does do uh, quite better than this. However, this is just a prop at this point, so we will... See how easy this screws in. Not so easy. Is it a different size? So let's do this. That might be a bit easier. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Just didn't have it threaded. You know, what is interesting, <laughs> at least for this layout, it actually works perfectly. Would not recommend putting your camera face down on the lens cap. Look at that. Right? Even with the camera attached, super smooth. Alright, point and go. So, let's see. Alright, so I can... Uh, <clears throat> this camera's kind of heavy. Um, I could reach out here and uh, film myself with this particular uh, contraption. I will tell you that um, you know having the lens over the arc of this, I think is giving it a little bit more balance. I feel like if the camera were turned around and the lens was that way, it might be much harder, but then I couldn't uh, film myself, but I could turn around and film others or you know just do this. And it does have magnets, so if you hear the snap there, it does snap shut and they kind of they're not very strong, but it does snap shut. So uh, vlogging here would be very, very easy. And then a quick loosen of the screw, turn it around, tighten it super easy, and then you can uh, run and gun and point and shoot this way. Uh, it's nice and tight. Um, it's not loose. Uh, these magnets, I think, I think they could be a little bit stronger, um, but it feels nice and light, uh, secure in the hand. The camera's certainly not going to fall off of it. Um, I don't think we would need this if I were using this for real, uh, but I would feel very comfortable filming with this. It's a little, uh, for me, a little rough on the hands. There's a lot of weight forward. Uh, I feel like if maybe there was a rubber grip on here or something, it would be a little bit more comfortable uh, sticking it out this way, but certainly vlogging, uh, either turning the camera around. This is actually very comfortable. It rests right here on my hand, so that's easy. Uh, this is a little forward momentum, it's fine. But overall, I think this is super cool. Don't know how much vlogging I'm gonna do this way. Don't know how much run and gun video shoot I'm gonna do using this guy. But what I will tell you is, uh, using it as an extra tripod, as if I'm feeling this way and I have another camera, maybe this one looking down right here, can put it up on blocks and point it down that would be very very useful as a second B, kind of b-roll camera when I'm making something all right this is my unboxing and initial use of the switch pod uh, if you don't have one I will leave the link in the description down below I think it's worth it I honestly have no memory of how much I spent for it because it really was quite some time ago but it might revolutionize your videography if you're a big vlogger and you do a lot of uh, kind of point back content and then want to just flip it around and point at people or just sit it down on a desk and have a conversation with someone. I think it would be very cool. All right, that's the video. Thank you for getting this far. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but I would like you to comment down below and tell us why so that we can make future videos better. All right, um, please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell if you want to see more unboxing content. Uh, this one is very specifically about, you know, kind of YouTube and videography. Uh, most of our unboxing videos are probably going to be about power tools and 3D printing and electronics, but that's okay. 
All right, uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I give regular updates on what I'm up to on Instagram in between making these videos. And don't forget to be inspired. All right, that's it. That's the video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for getting this far. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway, but I also like to tell you in... <clears throat> hmm, I was gonna say, all right, lost my train of thought. It's all good. <laughs>